College of Engineering, Kolhapur. So, today we are going to look into uh, the methods of designing flexible payment, uh, CBR and IRC methods. Uh, for uh, uh, Indian conditions, uh, we usually prefer to use the IRC method, uh, which is actually based on the CBR method. So, CBR method actually provided the framework for designing the IRC method in order to design the flexible payment. <coughs> so, these are the two topics that will be covered as the part of module 3. This is the CBR method of designing flexible payment and design of flexible payment based on IRC code 37 2012. So, this method was developed by the California Division of Highway in 1928. Okay, the CBR tests were conducted on the pavement layers such as uh, subgrade, subbase, and base. The empirical design charts were developed, which the empirical design charts were developed correlating the CBR value and the pavement thickness. So this is the chart that is the design chart that we are talking about here. So as we can see on this axis we can see the pavement thickness, these are the pavement thickness while these are the CBR values and these are the traffic condition whether it is a light traffic, medium traffic or heavy traffic. Okay. So these empirical design charts were developed uh, providing a relationship between the CBR value and the pavement thickness and uh, this was based on satisfactory results or failures. Now the basic principle of this method is that the thickness requirement is based on the CBR value uh, for the supporting soil and the magnitude of to be increased based on the decreasing value of CBR and the increasing value of the design traffic. Now the CBR method is the basis for the development of IRC 37 in India and other design philosophies of various countries. Now the advantage is the thickness determination is much easier from the available charts that we can see here. Now what are the limitations of this method? Now, it is a, a penetration, uh, it is a measure of penetration uh, into the specimen and it does not consider the soil strength properties. Also, the punching shear failure is not a true present, uh, not a true representation. Also, the punching shear failure is not a true representation of the actual behavior of the subgrade, uh, which is under the wheel load. For the areas which is uh, prone to water log, uh, logging uh, issues, the four days soaked CBR value is not going to be valid. Also, the thickness is independent of the material uh, properties of individual layers. The other set of design factors like climate, drainage and other environmental factors are not considered in case of CBR method. So these are some of the limitations of the CBR method due to which uh, we have shifted towards the IRC method. So this is the CBR design chart as recommended by IRC. So here also we can see the depth of uh, construction. Okay. And this is the CBR value and these are the traffic classifications. That is the number of vehicles per day exceeding 30 kilo Newton. Okay. Wait. Okay. So that is what we have to consider. Then, uh, so the most anticipated traffic conditions are considered. Okay. In order to cover the subgrade of the known CBR, the total thickness of the flexible payment has to be determined. Okay. Now, if there is a material which is superior to the present soil subgrade and can be used as a sub base material, uh, then the thickness of the construction over this material has to be determined from the design chart based on the CBR value of the sub base. So, same chart that we are seeing on the right hand side is the same chart I am mentioning here. So, the thickness of sub base course will be calculated as the difference between the total thickness of the pavement. Uh, minus the thickness over the sub base. Okay. The flexible payment is designed based on the IRC 37 2012. So, these are some, these are the steps which are involved in determining the thickness of the flexible payment. So, first we have to design the traffic calculation based on the formula shown here. 
okay we will look into it in the upcoming slides in detail then we have to use this chart for finding out the total thickness calculation based on the cbr values which are mentioned here okay these are the cbr values and these are the total thickness of the pavement okay and while this is the design traffic in msa for from 1 to 10 msa okay and uh, then the layer wise thickness has to be obtained based on the following chart okay now here if we look into this is the first step as i told earlier this is the design traffic calculation that is n which is defined as the cumulative number of standard axles to be catered for in the design uh, in terms of msa that is million standard axle that is msa then a is the initial traffic in the year of completion of construction in terms of the numbers of commercial vehicles per day that is cvpd okay then d is the lane distribution factor that has to be uh, obtained or it should be remembered based on the type of uh, road whether it is an undivided road uh, to two way traffic so that we have to see then you have f that is the vdf or you can say uh, vehicle damage factor then we have n which is the design life in years r is the annual growth rate of commercial vehicles so based on this the cumulative number of standard axles have to be obtained okay and this is the condition for the lane distribution factor so we can see various values here these are as per irc 37 2012 okay so based on the road condition for example if you are provided with an undivided road with the two lane carriageway okay that is this one okay in this case the d will be considered as 0.75 in that formula for the calculation of n that we have seen in the previous slide in a similar way if the road is uh, divided carriageway with four lanes each then d will be considered as 0 0.45 okay and the number of uh, heavy vehicles along the each direction has to be considered so these are the factors that are required to be considered while calculating the value of n here uh, we have a solved example on the flexible payment so here you can see this is the given data so the cbr value is given as five percent then initial uh, traffic at completion that is 300 cvpd is provided this uh, we have considered for both direction okay so this is for the board direction average growth rate or annual growth rate that we have seen is six percent here and the design life is 10 years and vdf is uh, 2.5 and uh, let us consider the undivided road with single lane carriageway uh, for uh, this d is equal to one so this value is what you have to actually remember okay this is just for your understanding this value has been provided in the uh, question itself and so as we can see here first we have to calculate the value of n and we have to report it as in terms of million standard actual so in this case it, it came out to be 3.61 msa this actually can be approximated to 4 msa for uh, better uh, calculation uh, for making the calculation easy okay now the cbr value is five percent and the traffic is 3.61 okay and uh, we are going to use the irc 37 2012 we have to do uh, interpolation in order to find out the thickness of the payment now by referring uh, to the table the, the design traffic of uh, 1 to 10 msa so since it lies in that range we approximate uh, we took the approximate value of total thickness of the payment as 545 mm okay then based on that we have obtained the bituminous surfacing as 20 mm pc plus 50 mm of vm and uh, road base as 250 mm granular base and sub base of 245 mm granular uh, material thank you so in the fourth module we are going to look into the design of or i should say the stress calculation in the rigid pavement Okay.